Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be showing you guys off unboxing my um, beta figure from Lightseekers that PlayFusion was kind enough to send out to me to show to you guys and play um, with. I get the, the beta version on the 15th. Sadly, I cannot show you gameplay of that, but um, that is something I, I'll be I'll be doing. Um, but first off, before we get into this, I just wanted to let you guys know that this has nothing to do with the videos I made um, on Lightseekers. Nothing. Um, it was ran I was randomly selected. It was a it was a random thing from from the forums of the website I had signed up um, several several months ago. Put my email in. And just now they were opening up the opportunity to send out beta figures to people that, that had signed up. Um, so that's that's why I got this. It has nothing to do with, with my YouTube channel or anything of that nature. So, well, maybe it does a little bit. I'm not sure they can, they can answer your questions in the comments if they're watching this. But um, this is limited edition beta number 357 out of 1,000. So this is awesome. I'm super happy. Thank you guys so much for sending this out. This is awesome little envelope here with the Lightseekers logo. So let's see. I'm seeing all this for the first time, just like you guys are, or maybe you, maybe you watched someone else unbox it. But keeping that envelope because that's awesome. So here we have some some cards. So. My understanding is these work the exact same as Battlecast cards, which is why I'm not showing you guys the front of these cards, but this says Lightseekers Beta. Now, the way this works is, I already scanned this into Battlecast, so I'm not worried about showing this off to you guys, but on the front, there's kind of like those ridges around the edge, just like there are on, on these cards, and it's a scan once, and and you can't scan it again, so it's, it's one-time use. Um, so that's why I'm not showing you guys the front, but I will do a comparison at the end with the, with the borders kind of like out, uh, kind of, um, blurred out. So let's see the, the papers in here. So there is a, um, little letter we'll read in a second. The weapon quick start guide. All right. And then there is the starter pack. Quick start guide, pretty cool. I'll look at those later. I do know a little bit of how how things work here, though. So let's see. Dear legendary backer, firstly, thank you for your continued support on the Lightseekers Kickstarter. We hope you're as excited to start your adventure in Tantos as we are excited to show you the wonderful world we've created just for you. First up, here's all the information you need regarding your prototype smart action figures. And close with this letter, letter ugh, you'll find the following contents. Um, so those are just all the contents there. And then I'll receive an email with the following links. How to download physical beta version, or download the beta version, device compatibility list. How to sign up on the private beta forms. And some FAQs. So... Details on what to do with your prototype and information regarding your limited edition Lightseekers figure will be sent out after the beta has ended. So look, we look forward to seeing you on the forums and, of course, in-game. The Lightseekers team. That is awesome. Thank you guys so much for sending out this letter. It means a lot. Um, man, this is crazy. This is my... Uh, this is... That's... It's pretty awesome. So... I guess I'll get that email soon, but now let's get to the thing you guys came here for, the beta figure. Alright, here. Try not to destroy this box, because I think I might have to send this back. Um, here we go. Try to open this up here. This is my first reaction. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Dang, this is crazy. So, well, here you guys go. You guys can see it. I got uh, Jax the Tyrex. And here's everything. All the contents of it. So, let's 
got a little like plastic thing over over it right now. I'm trying to take off here, but it's kind of hard because this lid keeps falling back. But I want to keep it in the frame, so. There we go. That's awesome. So it's kind of like Skylanders packaging there. A little bit. Um, Alright, so I guess we'll start with Jax. Um, oh, wow. That was... Dang, that was easy. Um, Alright. So here he is. This is... Alright, this is, this is pretty cool. Okay. Let me get everything out, and then I'll, I'll show you guys everything. So we'll set Jax off to the side here. I uh, he almost fell over. I was a little scared for a second. All right, let's see. Let's get... Oh, all right. Okay, okay. So this is his tail. I forgot. I saw I saw some people unbox theirs, but I just kind of kind of forgot a little bit. So that's his tail. It comes detached. Um, so let's, let's see. Put this on. All right there do we just um, there we go and just gotta click it in there we go all right that wasn't as hard as I made it look um but at least that thing ain't coming out anytime soon so that's kind of good um, only thing is it's a little back heavy now but I think I can fix that but it can also lean up off its tail which is cool um, it's actually balancing quite well, so we'll see what happens after I put the weapons in. So this is the, um, is the Copperhead Cleaver, I believe. It's the, let me unbox these cards, I think it's got the name. Um, but yeah, I think that's what this is, the Copper Cleaver, Cogwheel Cleaver, something like that. Um, but that's pretty cool. These weapons are really awesome. Everything here is like super detailed. This is the Nitro Hammer. Um, pretty sick. I'll go into detail, as I said. More detail in a minute. Here's his Flight Pack. Which I do forget the name right off the top of my head. But there it is. There's Flight Pack right there. So these things light up, which is awesome. And here is the um, fusion core. This is bigger than I thought. Everything is much bigger than, than it, I thought it was, even after looking at unboxings and hearing people say it was bigger than they thought. It This is actually bigger. So those are two little clicky thingies, buttons. I'm not sure what they do. Um, and then we just got, here's uh, the charger cable. And let's see a size comparison. So over here, I've got Riptide. Good lord, man. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. He comes up to about his knee. Even the weapon is like twice the size of him. That's actually insane. All right, so we've got a sort of moderate size. Um, Sensei, here we got Solar Flare. Aurora, she still only comes up to about his waist. And then these are obviously still taller than her. Let me grab Nightlight. Have. Ninjini and Nightlight right here. Here's Ninjini. No way. No way. That comes up to about his shoulder. So it's only about a head's length, but it's still significantly smaller. All right. Nitro Hammer comes up to about the top of, or uh, to about her nose. And this cleaver comes up to top of her head but she's still a little bit taller and then night light right here um 
his sword tip does come up to about his shoulder again, and then compared to the weapons, um, these things are still significantly massive. So let's try turning him on. This probably, there we go. Not as hard as I'm making it out to be, but that just plops off just like that. We're going to keep that right there so I don't lose it. And I'm just not good at, at doing things. So. That should just click right in. Ready when you are. Wow. Wow. Let's see what happens when I put his flight pack in. Time to fly. Alright, so let's see some of his weapons here. I'm just feeling the joints too. They're a little clicky, but they're not too, too bad. So let's try Nitro Hammer. Now I heard he says things as soon as you clip them in. This is just what I need. Yeah. Oh, check this out. Oh, there we go. So it's all lighting up. It's a little bit hard to balance him because of everything on him, but... That is pretty darn cool. That's pretty awesome. So you can totally pose him. Arms kind of move in and out like this. Um, the top of the arm rotates up and down. It is a little clinky, but you know, it's uh, still want to make sure it's, yeah, it's not going to like out. fall apart. So. I'd rather have it be a little clinky than, like, really loose. Um, head just kind of moves, like, side to side here. Time for a tailspin. Um, and then the legs. They do move in and out as well, but it's not as lenient as front and back. So, this is, this is him. This is Jax. Um... That was pretty, um, you know, I didn't want to go, maybe I'll go to a little bit more in depth with this figure and like everything he says and a bunch of different things like that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed, um, this guy's awesome. If you guys want to see anything else, as I said, just let me know. Um, and by the way, to take the, the weapons out, there's this little tab here. You go in and then it will, you push that in and then it just slides right on out of You're there. So won't be a problem for this thing. So there we go. So then this is the flight pack to take that off. Um again you just pop it out. And then if you sadly want to turn him off, you just slide the switch off. Again, thank you so so much um Play Fusion and Light Seekers for sending this guy out this he's truly all powered up and ready to go truly yeah, check me out got to get the tail into it insane he's absolutely awesome i thought he'd have trouble bouncing but he's not he's not even bouncing on his tail he's bouncing on his feet now as i said it's pretty heavy when i you have everything on him so but he seems to be bouncing up pretty well it's just Time like you can't you can't really if you want to have him standing up, like, you can't touch him. He will fall over, like, right away. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I actually do, um, want, I did want to test, see a, how it connected through Bluetooth, but, um, I'm using my phone to record right now, so, um, I guess the last thing, I'll just show you guys a, a still image close-up of, of these. And till next time, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sending this out, and I'll catch you all next time.